So you want to go live on Instagram. In Ecamm, you're going to go to your settings, then you'll go to destinations and make sure you have Instagram as a destination. If you've never set this up before, you will have to connect it to Facebook as well so you can have access to your comments. So connect it to Facebook. You click on that. It's going to log you into a browser, give you this prompt go through all of the prompts and then it'll bring you back to Ecamm and it'll show you that Facebook is connected. You don't need to go live to Facebook. It just needs to be connected. Now you can go back and add Instagram again and you can see that your Instagram accounts will show up here and then you can pick the one that you want and add it as a destination that you can choose from. Now we need to open up Instagram in a browser logged in. You're going to head to create. You're going to go to live video. And then you're going to add your details, a title and an audience. If you are doing this for the first time, I highly suggest doing it on practice so you can make sure you know all the steps. Once you add that in, you will get to this page. This is important information that we will come back to so we can just pull this to the side. In Ecamm, we're going to start a new stream. We're going to choose Instagram as a destination. And from that Instagram info page, we're going to pull the stream key and add that in to the details in Ecamm. Next, you want to press go live in Ecamm and it is going to send your feed over to Instagram, but you are not live yet. You just have a feed going to Instagram. When you are ready, press go live on Instagram. Once your window looks like this, you are live on Instagram. I do want to let you know that Instagram crops in your image, so I suggest you turn on vertical safe zone in Ecamm so you can be framed appropriately. When you're finished, make sure you end the live stream in Instagram to ensure you are no longer broadcasting to the platform.